Hey there, happy Monday. Um, hope everybody had a good weekend. I did. Went out of town um, to see my brother and sister-in-law and my nephew and his wife and two kids. And the two kids I've never met before, so that was really fun. Little ones. Exhausting, but fun. So today we're going to do the fire opal um, that I attempted last week. And I think it turned out pretty good. And people wanted to learn how to do it, so I'm going to do it. Um... I'm going to do it a little bit differently because as I was sitting here setting up for this, um, I started thinking um, about how it looks and everything and I was like, hmm, I'm going to try it differently. So we're going to learn together if this differently works out or not. So, um, so I have translucent, of course, my favorite. <clears throat> it's got some specs on it, but that's okay. I have this rolled out onto a two, and then I have a bunch of s flakes in different colors. So I have pink, I have copper, I have a light blue, and I have a green. This came in a box of, I think it's a dozen different colors. Here's some different colors that it all came with. Um, so I'll put a link to these. I don't think they were very expensive. They came with two different sets of tweezers as well, which is helpful. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna start with the pink. Oh, I need a paintbrush too. Just gonna use a little paintbrush also. Um, but we're gonna take some flakes and just place them around. Um, now, depending on what color you want to be, the primary is going to be how much you're going to place of that particular color. I tend to do an even amount. So that's going to be hmm, one more little piece. Do a little bit there. Do some right there. Okay. So that's the pink. I kind of want pink to be more primary, so I think I'm going to do more pink than the rest of them. This is a little bit bigger of a flake, so you'll just need to kind of rip it. So just rip it off and place it. I think that's good for that. I was so excited to find that they actually had these. They're just, they're on Amazon. And I got two different boxes, but I like this box better. The other ones are cool too. They have pretty colors and it came in a set of six, I think. Oh, no, there's a green, too. So there's... Oh, no, there's there's eight. So those are all the colors that they have in that box. This, this box I found second. I had already placed the order for the other box, and then I found this set. And I was like, well, I'm just going to keep both sets. This is going to be very similar to the technique that I did the other day with the dill and the copper leaf. Um, when we're done with this, we're going to run it through the pasta machine. Fold and run and fold and run and fold and run. But the thing that I'm going to do differently from what I did when I made it the other day is... We're going to tear sheets off instead of just using the actual sheet that I run through. So 
so I'm feeling pretty good about how this looks. I think I'm going to keep it like that. So we're going to take the paintbrush and just kind of make sure that it's really on there. I sure hope that this is in... So I think that's good. All right, and now we're just going to feed the pasta machine. You can take all this other that's down here and just dab it, um, but fold it in half. And I'm gonna keep feeding it through on a two. And it really doesn't matter which way you feed it. You can feed it this way, you can feed it this way, because I'm actually gonna fold it in feed it this way so you're it's almost like you're just conditioning again you just keep feeding it through until you get to where you like how it looks inside there just keep folding and feeding and folding and feeding And it's just going to mix all those different flakes together. It's starting to come together a little bit here. We're going to do one more. So I kind of like how that looks. And now I'm thinking that I'm not going to do it the way. So what I was thinking, because when I made them the other day, this is a ring that I made. Let's see if you can see. And it just seems really dense with color. And a fire opal does have some spots where it's... Um, just the base stone um, and not so much of the um, of the color coming through. So when I now that I've just done this, this one looks like this might be good just like this, but I was thinking of running it through thinner and then tearing off sheets and putting it on another piece of translucent with some space, it, excuse me, in it. Um, but I think I like the way that this looks, so I'm going to keep this. So, I'm going to cut some shapes, and I already decided that I wanted to do tear teardrop today. So, I'm going to do some teardrops. And... I'll do, I'm just going to do a large pendant here, large circle pendant. Maybe a couple beads. I'm going to do small beads. Okay. Fix these up. And if you can see that, and it's going to be really pretty um, after we bake and then plunge in uh, ice water. Give it a little ice bath after it's been in the sauna.
and then um and then the resin will really bring it out um I'm not a sander. I do resin. I guess it's maybe the lazy way out, but you can certainly do go through all the sanding. Um, one of these days I'll do it. I just don't currently. I enjoy resining and I like the way it looks, so that is why I stick with that. So these are going to be beads. Roll these up. And of course, just like glitter, this stuff, the flakes get everywhere, all over the place. looking a little wonky over there a little sad roll him back up that's good okay all right I'm gonna go ahead and bake these uh, 275 for um, lately I've been doing 35 minutes and that seems to be okay so I'm gonna do 275 for 35 minutes and then I'm gonna plunge them and then I'll be back to show you how they look so stay tuned Okay, guys, I'm back. So, <clears throat> excuse me, this is after being baked and then plunged. If you can see the sparkliness. I just wanted to show you out of the oven. Um, and from here, you can sand or you can resin. I'm going to resin them. So I will do that really quickly, and then I will be right back. Okay, <clears throat> here we go. So this is how they look when they are resined. Very sparkly. I went ahead and made these earrings as I do. But that's how they look when they have the resin. And like I said, I've never done the sanding, but I bet it would be gorgeous with sanding them through the grits. Um, <clears throat> these will be up for sale on my site as soon as I get the video uploaded. Um, TreysClay.com, T-R-E-Y-S, Clay.com. I also still have my mystery mix through the end of June. Um, and also everything on the site is $10 through the, end of uh, through the end of June. So go ahead and check it out because you can't beat those prices. These will be $10. Um, also join the Happy Place Studio Polymer Clay Group. That's getting nice and big, which is great. You can... Advertise your websites, your jewelry, your sales, show your stuff, um, whatever you'd like. So thanks for watching, and I'm going to have a video Wednesday and Thursday this week. So tune in. See you guys. Have a great day. Bye.